Hello everybody and today on the table we are unboxing the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition. So let's take a look at this packaging first. As you can see here we've got a cool little window that we can open and check out the mouse itself before you purchase it so you can see what does it you know what does it really look like uh, without uh, you know getting home and going ah oh, I don't like it. Um, so let's, uh, let's open the box and uh, see what we get inside. Okay, so this thing slides out, it looks like. Alright, we've got some uh, accessories. And that's everything in the box. So, first of all, we have the customary Razer stickers. Now these ones are the foil ones, with the holographic uh, foil on there, so it shines all chroma, multicolor-like. It's very nice. We also got our little letter here saying, you know, thanks for purchasing your Razer product and you're awesome, basically. <laughs> um, now, they've also got a cool little letter here that says exclusive rewards for the Razer faithful. Now, what this one is for, if you do any unboxings or picture or videos or a blog post or something on a Razer product, you can submit it to this site here and they will actually uh, take a look at it if you um, if they like yours the best I guess they will uh, they can give you prizes so that's pretty cool if you've got some Razer products that you're doing some unboxings on uh, now you've got your important product information guide of the Mamba mouse which is just you know what buttons do what etc uh, so that's pretty cool and let's have a look at the mouse itself. This is the packaging, oh, very nice. It just lifts off. And you've got your protective plastic bit. And then you've got the mouse itself. Ooh. All right, let's move this packaging out of the way. So, you've got a very nice braided cable, uh, which actually looks really good. Now on the side of the mouse here, you've got some nice thumb grips on the left and on the right for uh, both your, your fingers. On the top, you've got a very nice scroll wheel, a new kind of design with extra little textured bumps to help you grip that wheel just a little bit better. It even has a new side to side scrolling function, which uh, is very, very useful because the amount of times you want to scroll to side to side on some windows if you let's say you're using Premiere or you know a small box that has lots of scrolling parts side to side scrolling is very very handy uh, you've got your DPI buttons on the top here which allow you to adjust the DPI uh, of your mouse on the fly with uh, custom profiles on the bottom here you have got your uh, mouse feet and they're actually covered in a nice plastic protection so that one uh, stays clean and neat so something different on the Razer Mamba Edition mice the sensors themselves are laser versus the uh, sensors on the death adder which are optical so that's something to keep in mind when looking at purchasing this mice the industrial design on this mouse is really, really nice. Check out these sweet grills on the front here. Looks really, really stylish. Now, bear in mind this is a right-handed mouse. So if you are left-handed, unfortunately, you're going to struggle uh, using this one. Now, here we are in the Synapse software. And you can see here in the Customize tab, this is where you can adjust what each button does. Uh, you've got up to nine different buttons that you can customize. Whether you want a left click to be a right click, or right click to be a left click, uh, whatever you want to do there, you can uh, customize them and then save them as a profile. So depending on what application you're using, you can customize it to that as well with this link program option. You have got a performance option here where you can adjust the sensitivity of the X and Y even turn on acceleration or off whichever way you like to use your mouse. You've got a polling, polling rate option here so you can put it up all the way to a thousand. 
and you've even got the configuration of your sensitivity stages so if you click on this one every time you push the um, DPI button you can make it go up or down to each stage so let's say you like to use 3500 on this one you can drop it here and as you can see it adjusts in 50 um, 50 hertz increments now we also have the lighting option which is kind of what the uh, whole chroma part of it is all about uh, the wave option is what you're seeing right now which is kind of the most colorful option that uh, shows off all the 16.8 million colors now if we select from the list here you have got a breathing option right now it's just breathing in the one color in green but as you can see here there's an option to breathe from one color to another so if you like green and blue, let's say, it will breathe from green to blue and back again. If you just wanted to breathe with a random color, you can select the random color option. And this will breathe, every time it breathes, it'll change colors randomly to something different. You can even adjust the brightness here of how bright is uh, is it going to breathe as well. Next up we have reactive. Now what reactive does is as you can see the lights are off at the moment but every time you click it will actually uh, display a light. So no matter what you're clicking, how much you're clicking, you can uh, make the light reactive to uh, whatever color you like so you've got your brightness options you've got your duration and if you don't like green you can change it to absolutely any color out of the 16.8 million next up we have got spectrum cycling and with this one the mouse just fades between each of the colors all the uh, 16.8 million colors on that one uh, really really calm really nice this is probably the nicest uh, profile that they've got there built in it's uh, a little bit more peaceful and easy to use uh, on a day-to-day -day basis next we have got static so if you are just like one particular color and you've got a theme going through your whole setup let's say blue green red purple pink whatever you like you can pick a static color and uh, it'll stay that way right through everything Wave you've already seen, which is the uh, full, uh, you know, shows off all the colors kind of option. And then if you're like, you know what, I don't want any colors. I just want to use the mouse the way it is without any uh, any chroma effects. You can turn the none option on and uh, you won't have any, uh, any colors whatsoever. Now, calibration is the next tab. On here, it's very, very useful. So uh, if you're using any other Razer products, uh, mouse pad wise, you can select a Razer mouse pad and you can actually pick which mouse pad you're using and it will help calibrate the uh, sensor to work best on that one. So there's a big, big range. And uh, yeah, you can pick uh, whichever you've got there and it will calibrate really well to that mouse pad and give you the best possible performance for that. If you don't have an, uh, a mouse pad, click on this one and you can actually just custom calibrate it to whatever you have and uh, it should help the uh, performance of the sensor work, uh, work really effectively that way. You've also got the Chroma app section. Now this one is very cool because what this has is different programs, different applications are compatible with the Chroma effects whether it's Overwatch, whether it's Photoshop or Rocket League, you can actually uh, sync these apps together with your devices and everything reacts to, uh, to your mouse and to the program together. 
So there you have it guys, that's everything that comes in the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition box. We've got the mouse itself, we've got the accessories, we took a look at the Razer Synapse software and the Chroma functionality. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel, we're going to be going over the custom uh, profiles that people have created, including the ones that Razer have uploaded that work together with certain games and programs, so we will be reviewing a few of those profiles as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and until next time guys, stay awesome.